Hello all, welcome to part 9 of mobile testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain one of the mobile application types that is native apps. As explained in the previous sessions, we have four different mobile application types. One of them is MEW, that is mobile enabled web. Second one is web app. Third one is native app. Fourth one is hybrid app. Okay, these are the four different mobile application types. In this session, I'm going to cover that one of them, one of the mobile application types that is native apps. How these native apps mobile applications are different from the other mobile application types. Okay, that I'm going to cover in this session. So let's get started. Native apps are the mobile apps which are specifically developed for a particular device or for a particular operating system. Okay, using a native programming languages. Okay, whatever that particular device or operating system of the device supporting language uh, programming language will be there, right? Using that programming language, if the developers have developed the mobile application specifically for that mobile device or specifically for that mobile device operating system platform or platform are nothing but the native apps. Okay, so if you have to create native apps, what happens? For example, there are, uh, like, let's say five to six devices on which an, a particular application should work. What the developer has to do, developer will not be creating a common application for all the devices at a time. Rather, developer will be uh, taking one, uh, one, uh, one uh, device, mobile device, and for that particular device uh, requirements and for that operating system requirements, platform requirements, the developer have to develop the application natively. It's a native. What is your native language? People will ask, right? It's not a common language. English is a common language that everyone can speak. But if you, if someone asks you what is native language, okay. So uh, if you come to India and ask uh, in different regions, what are the different states and all, if you ask the native language, they have a different native language, okay? So it's easy for them to communicate. But when they have to communicate over English, right? Uh, you know, it will be difficult for uh, different areas of the people to communicate uh, in a common language like English, okay? It's not so easy. The same thing happening here also, guys. In that particular mobile app, when, when a developer is developing a mobile app, particularly or specifically for a particular mobile device platform or operating system that is called a, using the programming languages that are natively supported by that device or operating system are known as native apps, guys, okay? So as they are built to run on a specific platform, guys, okay? Native apps are the uh, mobile apps which are built or developed. Developer have to do a lot of hard work here uh, compared to the MEW and uh, web apps that are covered in the previous sessions. For native apps, developers have to uh, create, lot of, they have to uh, code the mobile application. They have to write a lot of coding for the mobile applications and that too, only for a particular device platform. Specifically, they are developing the mobile app for a particular device and operating system. Such kind of mobile applications are native apps, guys, okay? Mobile applications are nothing but nat native apps in this uh, thing, okay? So they are built to run on specific platforms. They are very fast. Since they are natively created, you see, like the people who are natively, right, they can they can, they can can uh, speak in their native language very easily, but when coming to the common language, they get, they get struck because, you see, uh, the uh, the different country people, if, they are, uh, if you ask them to speak uh, in English, okay, Indians will speak in their own way, Whereas Russians will speak in their own way, Chinese will speak in their own way, Japanese will speak in their own way. Okay, but if they ask the same people to speak in their only uh, in their own native languages, they will be very fast in speaking. Right, the same thing applies here. Okay, if a particular mobile application is developed for a particular platform, device platform or operating system platform, okay, using a, the native programming language that is supported by those devices or operating system, you see the communication, internal communication, programming communication. Okay, of the application with the device and all will be very fast. They run very smoothly, fast and interactive when compared to the other mobile application types. Okay, when compared to the other mobile application types, native apps are very fast and interactive. Okay, that's the main reason why developers have to develop native apps. Okay, so native apps, you see there is a device and you see uh, a native app should be de developed for an uh, Android device, Android thing or Apple. Okay, a separate uh, native app will be developed by developers for Apple and separate native app will be developed for the windows and so on, okay? As native apps run on mobile devices, they can access and use a mobile device specific hardware and software like camera, contact list, GPS, and that too in a faster way, okay? 
So mobile device specific hardware also can be accessed by these native apps. Okay, unlike other apps, and and they are very fast in doing that. Okay, the speed is very high, guys, because the native communication is very high. Okay, few native apps which come by default. Some examples, guys. Okay, I'm going to give some examples for the native apps uh, here. Okay, like LinkedIn is one example. Okay, so LinkedIn, uh, when you install LinkedIn on a particular device and operating system, uh, OS platform like uh, Android or something, right? A LinkedIn native app is will be getting installed. Okay, even though you are getting that from Play Store and all, a native one is coming. Again, when you are installing this LinkedIn on the uh, iPhone or something, a native application of LinkedIn for which is specifically designed or developed for using this uh, native language of that iPhone. Okay. Uh, will be used uh, for developing that application. Hence, the LinkedIn has to run very fast. Here, the requirement of the applications is to run very fast. So LinkedIn developers have to create separate mobile applications for separate platforms. So using their native supported languages, okay, to improve the speed and performance and uh, to get additional benefits, okay. So, and when you take any mobile application, guys, you see when you purchase a mobile application, not all applications you have to install, right? Some applications will come by default in your mobile application, mobile device, okay? Let's say you purchase the new mobile phone. In that, by default, some applications will come. Most of those applications will be native, guys, okay? Native to that operating system platform and the device, okay? And other required native apps like LinkedIn, Facebook, Google Maps. Uh, Google Maps also comes by default, okay? Whereas LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, you have to, you know, right? You have to install it, okay? By your By yourself, okay? Uh, there are different type of native apps like which come by default in the mobile phone or a mobile device when you purchase them and a uh, few you need to go to the play store and or apple store and then download and install okay so basically these are this is nothing but the native app guys okay and you understood the need for the native apps uh, when the speed and uh, performance smoothness is uh, important then these companies okay very big companies uh, over behind these mobile apps prefer to go with the native model of uh, native model okay native application they prefer because they want the users to uh, feel that uh, speed and all those stuff, okay? So that's all for this session, guys. Uh, in the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on mobile testing. Till then, see you, bye-bye.